Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. And I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we will practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more practice, at the end of this video I will point you in the right direction to help make math your jam too. The focus for this week is drum roll equation editor so you know what time it is we don't want to waste any more time let's get to it and let me teach you all right fifth grade here is your problem this week so go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own and then when you're ready come on back and let's check your work all right, fifth grade, welcome back. This says to write an expression. An expression does not contain an equal sign. Just keep that in mind. Write an expression that can be a rule for the terms below. Okay, so we have seven, eight, nine, 10. Seven would be term one, eight would be term two, nine would be term three, and 10 would be term four. Okay. So we have to create an expression that helps us to get there. Well, the rule, let's look at it. We're going from seven to eight to nine to 10. We're increasing, right? We're increasing, which means that we are either adding or multiplying here. Which one do you think we're doing? Yeah, we're adding by how much? By one, right? The rule for each one is plus one, plus one, plus one. And that is great, but the answer is not plus one on its own. And down here, we have our operations, add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And then this is where we have our variable. And that is the thing that is changing. In this case, the X represents the term number. So the way I'm seeing it is, it's what plus one, right? We've got our term, term number, so what plus one is going to give us seven, okay? Well, we know that six plus one equals seven. So in order to get that first term, we have to have six plus, and then this one right here is actually the term number. It's term number one. And we're going to list that as six plus X. Okay, and let's see if that makes sense. If we use this rule, six plus X, if we plug in the term number two, not the number eight, but the term two, then that would get us eight. Or if we plug in six plus the third term equals nine, and look at that, our third term is nine. Six plus Four, or the fourth term would be 10. So six plus X would be a wonderful expression to use for this. At least just take some tinkering around. You gotta go through and try to figure out what the expression is and then plug in your terms to see if it makes sense. So what I will select here would be the number six plus X. And when you do that, six plus this fancy looking X over there, not the times, but it's showing our variable or the term number would be the expression for this. So go ahead and copy down any notes that you still need to make. And then when you're ready, let's close out this video lesson. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. And before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good. It's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to put in the practice and you've got to throw down your very best effort each and every time. I believe in you and I will see you next time, world changer.